Okay, update time. <laughs> that was a sad video, wasn't it? I'm so sorry about that. Hi, it's Jay. What's up? So, um, uh, to follow up on the other video, yes, I'm I'm doing somewhat better. I promise. I'm not. I'm not. I'm. I'm not placating. Um, I just wanted to update you guys on some stuff that's going on right now. First and foremost, yes, I'm still writing music. Are they finished? No. <laughs> no. No, it's not finished, and I am having the toughest of times trying to finish anything. Although I have been inspired, unfortunately, through bad shit. But, <laughs> you know, inspiration comes in many forms in different ways, and we work with it. What have I been watching? Oh, the myriad of things. <laughs> so, a friend of mine from college lent me his uh, access to Disney+, Plus, and uh, uh, that was a bad idea. <laughs> Oh, it was a bad idea. I don't know if any of you know that I'm a huge Marvel fan, just a comic book fan in general. And um, I love, when I say love comics, I love comics. I love DC, I love Marvel, and Marvel really sparked more interest as an older person. I stopped when I was like in my when I was sixteen because like it wasn't cool for a girl to like comics, which I hate that I never stuck with it because like. Fuck, because it... Also, the New 52 was bullshit, in my opinion, but we're not going to go there. <laughs> we're not. We're not going to go there. That's not the long-winded shit for another day. So, the stuff I've been watching on uh, Disney+, Plus, um, WandaVision, my heart's not set yet. I, I finished it right on time. I can't... Brain hurts. So much brain, brain hurts, and I want more... Like, I... I relate to Wanda because of mental illness. I used to watch shows like sitcoms growing up, like Full House and Step by Step and Boy Meets World. Yes, I'm showing my age. I'm 36. We're not. The, we're, I don't lie here. Um, and wanted that that specific family type of situation. So I get that. And mental health wise, and when she's knocked back to reality, that just that that broke me. It broke. It broke me. Just like her thanking the kids. To that being her mom, their mom was just like insane. First of all, if anyone gives me spoilers, it's been out for almost two months, three months now. If you haven't watched it, it's your own goddamn fault. Secondly, um, that hurt me just as much when fucking Tony Stark said, I love you 3000 at the end of his hologram. Knife and heart, I'm dead. I'm dead. I am perfectly aware that was melodramatic. That is neither here nor there. Moving on. Fucking in the Winter Soldier. Oh boy. I watched the first episode thinking, all right, they touched on racism, which is so important to be doing right now, especially everything that's happened in the last year. And I think it needs to be sp sp spoken about because not a lot of people will do it. But the way they did it, and when I watched the second episode, I was like, damn, okay. Yeah, they're really going for it. Alright, also, John John Walker can go fuck himself. He is not Captain America, Sam is. I don't give the fuck who you think you are. First of all, he's, he's not Captain America. That man is a broke discount from Dollar Tree, that's what he is. And Battlestar? Fuck you! Just, no, no, this is not how this works. And you don't have the right, sir, to call him Bucky. You call him James Buchanan, okay? I have a problem. <laughs> anyway, moving on. I've seen both seasons of The Mandalorian. And I, I, and that shit. I got into that before the pandemic happened. And then the second season happened. And I lost my goddamn marbles. Just straight fucking lost them. I was, oh, uh, I have a, ooh, hold on. I want to show you something. You guys ready? You're not ready for this. Although I am. But you have to see it. Ready? Can you see him? Yeah! <laughs> I was hanging out with a close friend of mine, uh, my friend Mia, and she is amazingly funny. And I had a panic attack, and she she bought me this little girl glue. Look at him. Oh, he's so cute. First, and so, again, I'm dropping a spoiler here. I, I know Rosario Dawson um, played Ahsoka in The Clone Wars, which is my next thing I'm going to watch because I am a Star Wars fan. I'm also a Trekkie. Go with that with you, Will. 
and um i uh i i <laughs> i didn't think that rosario dawson would i like when i found out that she was gonna play ahsoka i'm like how are they gonna bring that from animated to fucking live like live screen i don't know how the fuck to say it and when i saw it i'm like god damn they did that right I was so concerned, because animated, I've seen a couple of things here and there, and it looks great, but fuck all, did I ever think, shit, I'll take it, I'll take it for what it is, it's awesome, it's very, very awesome, so that's what I watched, and I also decided on watching uh, the new Mighty Ducks series with Lauren Graham, and I just love Lauren Graham for who she is, and if I can get a little piece of Gordon Bombay, I will, I've seen all those movies, all of them are horrendous. Even the college one. And, um, I don't, I don't, I don't care. Although I heard Joshua Jackson's not coming into this show right now. And it makes me very upset. Sir, you are the fucking reason the team lives. The team lives! But I digress. Um, anyway. <laughs> uh, why do you watch my content? <laughs> so, um, my friend Annie is in a band called Jack Nepsoletto. She's the lead singer of that band. Please go check them out. Um, and, uh, she's also, she does all these different types of art. And I needed new artwork. Like, the room is painted now. Um, I redid a lot of things, and I still have a lot more to do. But I asked Annie for an artwork piece, and I wanted my five top local bands that I love ridiculously. And it's hanging on my wall right now. I'm gonna show you what this, it's so, it's so beautiful. And I love it so much. <laughs> like, I love it so much. I have two of her art pieces. I have a star, and I have this. It's a, I'm going to shut up and just show you. Please hold. Okay, ready? Ta-da! So, in the middle, you'll see... I don't know. It's going to be backwards, but this is my favorite band, Craving Strange. This is Annie's band, Jack Knife Stiletto. This is Rebel 9. Go check them out. They're great. DJ's really cool. My idiot friends in Dino Skate Park. They're amazing. And an... Oh! <laughs> And a newer band that hit on the scene, uh, something uh, heavy that came out literally before the pandemic even hit. Um, Jimmy and Mikey have a podcast called uh, Bacon is My Podcast, and go check that out. They just did a uh, interview with Mark Marrow, and it is amazing. It uploads every Monday. Check it out. Before I forget, if you uh, look up Annie Stoic on Etsy, you can find a little artwork there and buy it. And mainly, I've just been posting a lot on TikTok. And I'm sorry about that. I'm trying to make more content here as well because I I don't know what to make. So here's the situation. And I don't know where the content is leading for YouTube. So do me a favor. Leave a comment in the, in the section below and tell me what the fuck do you want me to do? Is it ASL videos? Is it, is it uh, dancing? Whatever the fuck have you. Sketches. Let me know because I have no idea what to do here and I'm in new territory. <laughs> Side note, <laughs> look up Strangerhood TV. That's where you'll find uh, Bacon is my podcast. I forgot to mention that. So I guess that's it for now. Um, thank you for watching and subscribing. Thank you for putting up with me for fucking 11 years. For 14 years now? Shit, 14 years. Yeah, that's... that's. Hmm, I've been on this thing way too long. <laughs> and uh, thank you for... Uh, if you've bought the music or subscribed to my own stuff. I have a website, uh, gsombert.com. I am trying to fix it and make it better, and it needs it, it needs a revamping. Um, you can find my TikTok at Deathbird One and my social at Twitter at uh, Deathbird One and Instagram as well. And I will see you guys in the next video. Hopefully, not this rambling. <laughs> I love you guys.